What's up? What's up? Welcome to episode 21. It's my 365 day challenge. It's a video podcast. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about extraordinary things. Extraordinary people do extraordinary things, right? So it's been kind of a weird, I don't know, a weird day. Yesterday was pretty cool because my body's really sore from working out like my muscles are definitely you can tell I'm pushing them and uh, it just with all the stuff that I'm doing it makes me want to push harder um, so that's pretty cool but like holding my boy last night my little one just kills my arms like I'm just trying to get stronger you know and uh, I want to talk about the extraordinary things because I feel like what I'm doing right now is definitely not normal, right? But I don't want to be a normal person because if I was a normal person, I would just work my 50, 60, 70, 80 hours a week, which I used to do, by the way, and then I would just be done with it. But at this point, you know, I started out at the company that I'm at, I started out there, I'm on my seventh year. And six years ago when I started out, I could work as much as I wanted to. Um, and I did work a lot. Like I, I basically worked sometimes two or three weekends in a row, you know, anywhere. I think the most I've ever worked was like 92 hours in a week, which that is a whole lot. But what I noticed whenever I was doing that was, I mean, yeah, the money was good, but what I noticed was my emotional you know, my emotions would get all out of whack. And then I'd feel like I was trapped. I'd feel like I couldn't, like, I I, I don't know. I feel like I I just couldn't gain the, the, the mental part of it. And it started really affecting me and it would drive me crazy. And then I'd take some days off and then I'd do it again. And then I fell into this rut of doing it, you know, I'd go like every other weekend for a while. But I mean, I, I wish I could go back and just count up all the hours that I worked in a year because I really figured it out. A normal, you know, a normal job is like, what, 40 hours a week, 2,000 hours a year, basically, with a two-week two week vacation, 50 hours or 50 weeks out of the year. So for me, you know, working, that's, that's like 2,000 hours, right? So if I was working, even right now, like if I'm averaging 50 hours a week, you know, that's right around 3,000 hours a year. And that's still a whole lot compared to other people. But my whole point to this is that, you know, I worked all those hours and I worked all that time to build myself up. So we saved money to buy a house. We saved money up for fertility treatments for our kids, which was like over $50,000. Um, we paid off a lot of debt in that time. And I don't regret none of it like I'm a hard worker and I do you know appreciate the fact that I was able to work like that and do that because not a lot of people have that opportunity but at some point in your life you got to find fulfillment and that wasn't really fulfilling me so right now I'm kind of curved back to 50 that's like kind of my max I know I still go over that every once in a while and it's not by choice but I just do what I have to do but now that I'm doing this, like, I mean, I can count the hours that I'm doing stuff here, you know, but I'm still having huge challenges with my time and, and figuring out what I want to do or how to do the things that I got to do. Like I got videos that I need to film and I just, I, I can't, I got to figure something out with the time part. Plus my challenge, biggest challenge that I have right now, and I'm going to say the biggest challenge and I'm asking the question right now out to the universe or God or whatever. But my biggest challenge right now is my, and, it, and it's it's not so much mine as it is my wife's, but it's our challenge, is my little one. You know, he's 11 months old and he will not sleep through the night. She just brought him to me when I was on the, on the elliptical machine and I had to quit my workout a little bit early just to get him so she could sleep because he's up throughout the night. So here's my biggest question. How can we get that baby to sleep through the night? He just tosses and turns and fidgets and can't breathe right and just all this stuff going on. So 
how can we get that baby to sleep through the night? I've been praying about it. I've been talking about it. It's out there now. It's in the world. How can we get that baby to sleep through the night? So I just put him down to film this video. I didn't even know if I was going to be able to film the video because I had him in my arms, but I just dropped him in the chair. He fell back asleep. I just put him back in his bed. I'm hoping he's not awake right now because my wife is going to kill me. Anyways, so extraordinary people do extraordinary things. I mean, extraordinary, right? It's not out of the ordinary. It's extra. So I'm working 50 hours a week. I'm working out now, which is something that I haven't done since I've worked here because I felt like I, it was just took, I just didn't have time. But I'm glad I'm doing it now because one of the things that I've learned is that if you want to be extraordinary, you got to get your body extraordinary because your body's what's going to carry you there. So I'm excited about that. I'm still losing about a pound a day. I weighed myself this morning. I'm about 25.8 pounds. I'm in a hunt. 225.8 pounds. That's awesome because almost 14, uh, actually 13 days ago, I was 238. So I'm losing about a pound a day. I have a good routine on eating. It doesn't bother me at all. It doesn't, I'm not hungry. That's cool stuff. But now how do I apply this extra stuff in this time thing and get my videos start to get my videos because I want more videos I want to do more videos so I can get better at YouTube but also I want to have some kind of an asset out there um, which has to do with um, has to do with having a having a list of people that I'm you know servicing or whatever that I'm that I'm serving so how do I fit that in my schedule because right now whenever I wake up I do the workout I got a little bit of time before I go to work because I've been packing my lunch the night before but what how do I work that in the time because then I go to work at seven I usually get off at five or after and then you know there's might be a small window that I can fit some time in there to go do some videos but it's just it's just different this is all different for me so I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do it yet but I gotta start experimenting and doing more and uh, yesterday my personal development stuff that I was listening to was how to be more effective with your time and I'm gonna keep going over that and over that and one of the things that Tony Robbins recommends is possibly getting a coach so I don't know if that's in my favor or in my odds yet right now, getting a coach right this second. I mean, ultimately, I'd love to have a coach. I'd love to have multiple coaches so I could get my stuff up and running and, and jamming. But I have to get some income coming in first. And that's, you know, I, I'm trying to bootstrap my way here. I'm not trying to spend a whole lot of money. I mean, there may be a time where I do invest in a little something, something to get something rolling. But I got to be more uh, organized and laid out with my stuff with what I want to put out there before I do it. I don't want to put junk out there. So that's pretty much, you know, extraordinary people do extraordinary things. One of the, uh, one of my friends on Facebook, actually somebody I kind of grew up in the same town or whatever. She's a cousin to one of my good friends. She was posting something the other day about how, you know, she, she had to do all this extra stuff and because she, she just basically started a restaurant here within the last year or year and a half and um you know there was a fair in town and she was actually working on having to go set up her her booth at the fair to cook or whatever and she was she wasn't complaining but she was just talking about how how much extra stuff she had to do with it and that just triggered this thought you know extraordinary people do extraordinary things if you want to be ordinary, then just do ordinary things. But if you want to be extraordinary, go and do the extra work. I mean, we're only here for a short time. Go do the extra stuff. Live life to the fullest. I um, definitely would recommend it. It's definitely something that I'm pushing for every single day. I don't know how much more time I have here. Not that I'm sick or anything, but, you know, I'm just thinking about it like that so that I don't just get lazy and just do nothing, you know. Keep pushing forward. So I appreciate you watching. I appreciate if you subscribe if you haven't already. And I guess we'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.